Hello! Uh, here's something for you retro gamers. If you're in on that RGB craze, you've probably thought about using one of these things. It's a, a SCART splitter, so you can plug in multiple consoles into one slot on your TV, or in my case, my upscaler. But uh, if you're smart and did your research, you know that this particular eBay cheap style does not work. Uh, how, uh, uh, yeah, I fell for it, and, and it, uh, let's see, this SCART has a power, like, there's video, audio, there's everything in a SCART cable, including power, and so what happens, for me, I'm using a Super Famicom and a Sega Genesis, and when I turn one on, the other machine will also turn on, and their video signals will automatically mux, and the TV, of course, does not display it. So that needs to be fixed, and as you can see, this thing is apart, because I took it apart, and I wouldn't surprise this actually work, but, but uh, I did some modifications here. Um, very simple power board. You see each connection, each connection, each SCART cable goes directly to the next cable, and it's just a continuous line of circuit. And so, as you can tell, is how I modified it, is I cut those lines in precise areas. It is, uh, if you look at the, sh the pointy bit coming off the edge here, the bottom, line, bottom row of connectors, the pointy side, and flip it over, and every one, two, three, four, uh, yeah, there's me being stupid and I made a big mistake, but luckily that pin isn't used. But every fourth from the right, and every third from the left on the bottom row in this particular SCART connector are power circuits. And I just used a screwdriver, uh, a flat edge to be precise, to use the corner of that to scratch out that circuit. And that disconnects the power from each other. And I'm very surprised, but I've already tested this, so the surprise is ruined for you. But it, it, it works, uh, and I will show you in a second. But um, I don't expect you to understand my complicated flip analysis of which circuit you should cut if you want to try this. It's all on your own risk. It works for me. I don't know about you. It should, at least if you have a Super Famicom and a Sega Genesis. But, you know, just... Google uh, a SCART pinout and it'll tell you right away that plus 5 volt aka pin number 8 and number 16 are the pins you want to disconnect. Um, if you open up the SCART end on your systems cable you'll see that they are connected and they have a resistor so that makes me think they're important but 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 if you just simply want to, I don't know, I wanted to play my game, and I couldn't, so I did this, and as you can, you'll be able to see in a second, it, it sh has, well, preliminary testing says it works. I haven't played for a length of time, maybe something happens after a while, but right away here, come on one-handed come on oh why you can do it there we go why are you oh this is your edge you look broken anyway uh one of these is genesis one of this is famicom plugs mm. i if i sh if i would have known well i did know but if I was thinking ahead, I would have made a video of the problem itself, but whatever, I'll just show the solution and we'll see how that works out. Okay, we're trying this one more time here. Um, I'm not sure where the video cut off. I didn't intentionally cut it off, but uh, we ran into some problems, which, uh, whatever. Um, so what we got here is the Super Famicom is this first connection here. It's on the second port. And what's significant about this second port is that it's completely connected 
Uh, the power circuit is still intact, despite that scratch there, it does not go all the way through. And this third one is disconnected at the power circuit, which is the Sega Genesis. So Super Famicom, plugged up over here, and has the American game in it, not, not relevant. We're turning it on, looking at the TV, and it works. Good, 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 good. Turning that off, and Genesis, which is third cable, the one that's connected, disconnected at the power, it is turning on, and it works. We want some animation because they're pretty. There you go. Da 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 da. da. Yeah, and uh, okay, that that configuration does not work in reverse. My Super Famicom needs to have the power connected, otherwise, just nothing happens. The Sega Genesis does not need the power. I wish I would have known that beforehand before I cut these bottom three. Luckily the top one still has power, but whatever, that that's done. Uh, so m maybe your Nintendo products need that power if you have more than, like I have a NES that can connect to that thing, but uh, whatever, I'll deal with that later. Uh, this is our findings at the moment. Um, the original problem was the exact same as having both systems turned on at the same time, which, well, That, that's a lot better than what it was before. Before it just didn't work. You saw this. You see the Sega logo. Is that is that change? Yeah, whatever. The Super Nintendo has a stronger symbol, a signal apparently. There, there's there's some fun video action. That was the original problem, and so. Let's turn those off. Disconnecting the circuits somewhat fix that problem. I might not be able to plug a third system in here, but the Genesis, as far as I can tell, does not need to have those power circuits on the SCART cable. A better option probably would have been disconnecting those circuits in the actual Genesis cable. But anyway, that's that, that's that. So this cheap eBay SCART thing, I'm going to put the shell back on. I'm not going to leave it like this. Will function with some modifications. You just probably won't get more than two systems. I don't know. I don't know if I... Yeah, I might as well. I'll try, but I'll make a different video if my results are significant. I don't think they are. Anyway, that is that. Use my naked knees. Um... Hope that helps someone besides me. Cheap stuff, it's good for us privileged people. Yeah.